Hi folks, um, in this video I'm going to show you a clever use of the len function uh, for conditional shows of objects. So when we have a table here and we've got a text object and I'm going to go into the properties of the text object. I'm going to type in the following equals len, len, get current selections. I'm going to copy that because I'm going to use it in another couple of times. So basically if I click apply I now have a value of zero here, um, and if I make a selection, it's now 38. So basically, I have a text object that just tells me how many characters or the length of characters within uh, that particular selection is. So if we follow on from that and go into the layout and say well, we want a conditional layout, so we're going to show it based on this condition based on the length of the current selection. So we click apply and see that it's disappeared because we've nothing selected. So we make a selection and it reappears. Uh, this text is white which isn't ideal but it's for a reason because if you go into the properties of the text object into general, into color and um, paste that and then before land say if so we want to change the color based on uh, so if Len get current selection. So if something is selected, it's greater than zero. And um, we're going to say make it green. So comma green. Open close parentheses. Final close parentheses and click OK. So now you can see, if we clear the selection, this box will disappear altogether. And if we make a selection the box will reappear and it will be colored differently based on that selection. So that's um, using the len function and uh, to con conditionally show a text object um, and using get current selections. So I hope that helps and I'll see you next video. Cheers.